Well, welcome to Easter 2024. This, uh, I'm going to have two, at least two, I may have three or, or more. It depends on what I can find between now and then. We're early March, March 1st, actually. And uh, I, um, these are kind of unique uh, projects. Uh, I've got one of them already cut. It's a resurrection scene. This is a Easter egg with a cross in it. And I got... I bought a wooden egg. I made this little jig to hold it so I can cut it. And I got all this from Steve Good. I'll have a link to the pattern below in the, in the description. And I about got this ready. I had to, had to sand the bottom of the egg. It wasn't a flat bottomed egg. And uh, of course they tell you that on Amazon and when you get it it's not what they said it was. But regardless of that I've got this I got sanded it down and I made this little jig after three or four tries to hold it so that I could it'd have room for the uh, pattern but it would not stick out the back to make it rot when it's on the saw. So that from that point of view I'm successful. Those are just wood screws sticking through and I cut the tips off of them. I tried to do it with some little bolts but they weren't long enough and I didn't want to go to town to get some. So I'm not going to put any tape on this because it's uh, spherical and it's going to be difficult enough to get that that pattern on. I'm going to put that pattern on it and I'm going to have it bottom uh, even with the bottom or try to. And I've got me a hole drilled right there. I'm going to go through with my blade and I'm going to come from the bottom and go around. And then I got a little base. It's two little quarter inch pieces of wood. I'm going to make a base for it. Uh, I've got a pattern for those. So let me get that pattern on. I'll get it over to the saw. I think I'm going to go with a number 7 or maybe a number 9. It's a pretty thick piece of wood. And see if I can cut this. I don't know if I'll be successful, but we'll find out. Well, that's, that's a simple project to cut, three cuts. This one, that's, that's a new one on me to cut a spherical surface like that. And keeping your perspective is it's more difficult than I thought it'd be. Probably be all right if I do it a few times, get the hang of it. Don't know that I'm going to do another one, but that was interesting. It was something different. I like to find different things, and that was definitely different. Uh, wasn't sure I had the pattern straight. It's really hard to tell with an egg in that... Uh, jig but I think it came out okay and it's just some walnut that's half inch walnut or two step base for it so basically uh, I'm going to glue these together and I'm going to glue the cross sticking out the way I want it from the egg and when all that sets up I'll glue the egg on the base then I'll see what kind of finish I'm going to put on it from there Okay, there's the finished uh, little Easter egg cross, as uh, Steve uh, Good calls it. I put one of our several very, very, very light coats of spray uh, polyurethane on it, and I think it finished out pretty good. I may do some cleaning and put another coat on it, but right now I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll take, I like to take a little look at it after I coat or, or finish something to make sure I don't need to touch it up. But that's uh, another 2024 Easter project. I've already got another one finished, and I got one more I'm going to do. It's a large cross that says Easter on it. it has some various designs on it. 
Uh, I'm going to start that here in a little bit. So by Easter, I'll have all three of these up in a little playlist probably. So I hope you like that. And uh, it's something unusual. That's kind of what I was looking for. It's a very, very different thing. I've never cut anything like that before. So I hope you enjoy that. And hit the like button if you like it. And hit the subscribe and see what other strange stuff I'll try to find and, and uh, put up on my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.